Hi, special friends. Welcome to Mrs. Ashley's Learning Emporium, where we read, write, learn, and play. I'm Mrs. Ashley. Today, we are going to hear Nico and the Trouble Bubble, read by our new special friend, guest reader, Mrs. Lisa. Hello, my name is Mrs. Lisa, and I'm one of Mrs. Ashley's special friends. Mrs. Ashley told me that you are her special friends too. I'm hoping that means that we can be special friends. I'd really like that. Today, I am here to read Nico and the Trouble Bubble by Mrs. Ashley to you. I hope you enjoy this story. Nico loved bubbles. They were his favorite thing. When his mother gave him a bottle of brand new bubbles, Nico jumped for joy. After Nico finished putting away his other toys, he ran outside to play with his new bubbles. Nico watched the bubbles float around everywhere. He laughed as they burst and continued to blow more. But there was one bubble, just one, that would not burst. It was not high in the sky. It was not moving very fast. That bubble just floated there looking back at Nico. Nico jumped and swatted at the bubble. He wanted to make it burst as the others had, but the bubble started to float away instead. Before Nico could realize it, he had knocked over his bottle of bubbles. The bottle was now completely empty. Oh no, Nico cried. But that bubble, the trouble bubble, was still there. It floated there looking back at Nico. Before Nico could think about it, he was trying to catch the bubble again. This time he chased it because he was angry about spilling his brand new bottle of bubbles. The trouble bubble was just out of his reach. Nico kept trying to reach it and wasn't looking where he was going. Splash! Nico had run right into a pile of mud. His clothes were now all dirty. But that trouble bubble was still there. Nico chased it faster and ran harder he wanted to catch that bubble so bad. Nico ran so fast that he didn't see his friends building a castle and ran right through it. Nico stopped running when he heard his friends cry. He looked back at the destroyed castle and started to feel bad. Trouble bubble, I can't chase you anymore. You keep getting me into trouble, Nico yelled. I didn't want to get you into trouble, Nico, the trouble bubble said. I just wanted to show the beautiful things I could see from up here. What things, Nico asked the trouble bubble. Well, back when you knocked over your bottle of bubbles, there was a flower just starting to bloom. And back by the mud puddle was a caterpillar crawling on the branch of a tree. It was your favorite color, green. Last, I wanted to show you your friend's castle because it was so cool. But instead, you were so angry with me that you never saw any of it. I'm sorry, Bubble. Maybe you aren't trying to get me into trouble. Nico said after thinking about it all, can you show me new things? This time I will keep my eyes open so I can see what you see. Sure, Nico, I would love that, the bubble said. So Nico and his bubble set off for new adventures and Nico never called his friend Trouble Bubble again. The end. Come back to Mrs. Ashley's Learning Emporium to hear the other stories I will read. I hope that you enjoy this reading of Nico and the Trouble Bubble. 
If you want to have more fun with Nico, head over to MrsAshley.com and go to the free resources tab. You'll be able to download lots of coloring pages, including these from Nico and the Trouble Bubble. I hope to see you on Thursday when we'll do a fun activity with Nico and his bubble friend. Thanks for coming to Mrs. Ashley's Learning Emporium. See you next time, special friends.